Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today we've got an action-packed episode of Too Sweet and I was in the store the other day so looking in Target and of course Christmas time and I decided that I was going to try some of my huh, they're, they're really the favorite kind of treats this time of year. And you know, if you've seen any of my past videos, you know I like my peeps. <laughs> this is going to be a Peep Palooza episode of Too Sweet. And I'm going to dedicate this one to one of my favorite YouTubers out there. Mr. Ian K over at Peep This Out, where I got the inspiration for Peep -a Palooza. And going back and watching one of his old videos that he had, he tried the watermelon peeps and that, uh, that's where he got his name for his channel. And I'm going to go ahead and have a big Peep -a Palooza for you guys out there on this episode and I found lots of different flavors and I guess I'm gonna it's gonna take a little while to get through some of these I'll go through the first two that were out there these are not any kind of special flavors they're just unique f shapes for the holidays and the first ones I got are the Peeps Marshmallow Snowmen they're just little snowmen. They're little cute things. And just to let you guys know, this is just pure sugar. <laughs> it's marshmallow sugar. And for three snowmen, it's 110 calories on that. That's for the marshmallow snowmen. They also had marshmallow trees. <laughs> and there are the trees. Same thing. For three trees, it's 110. And <laughs> that's kind of interesting. It says, express your peepsonality. Open a package of peeps and open a world of possibilities from creative crafting and imaginative artwork to delicious recipes and more. Let the fun begin, peeps. You can go to marshmallowpeeps.com for recipes. So that's the first two, the marshmallow snowman and the trees. Now moving on to some interesting combinations and flavors out there. Now these ones are actually a flavor and these are called chocolate mousse flavored reindeer. <laughs> so then they look like little reindeer, aren't they really cute? So these are going to be chocolate mousse and that one is 120 for three. Go a little bit more. I don't know, maybe the little chocolate flavor has a little bit extra. And the other one I found was the gingerbread flavored marshmallow gingerbread man. This was a smaller package, so these were only a dollar. Found these all at Target. So here's the little marshmallow peeps. And <laughs> this one was interesting. I, this kind of pop, popped out at me. It peeped its little head out. And this is called Holiday Vanilla Cream Pop. And there are marshmallow peeps on a stick. <laughs> so here we go. Marshmallow cream. And this one is 124 four chicks so for the whole thing it's 120 again this one says it's vanilla cream so it tastes like vanilla and this one was interesting it's only one that I found that was a little bit different and this sounded really good this is called peeps delight peppermint bark flavored marshmallow dipped in decadent dark dark chocolate and as you can see it's a little peep chick and it's got dark chocolate on the bottom, and I guess this is going to be a little peppermint bark on the top. So, 
this stay tuned for the people palooza tour so i guess what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and open up just these first two because they are marshmallows nothing more sugar puffed up like a marshmallow and you can put them in the microwave and let it, watch them explode if you want i don't know if that's really dangerous or not but I don't know, maybe not the thing you want to do, but anyway, so I'm opening this up, and, oh, they're nice and soft. Here's the Marshmallow Men, pull them apart. So here's the little Marshmallow Guy, People Palooza, and he's got his little cute uh, hat, and again, this is just a marshmallow with sugar on it, and... <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like me, I like to break them apart and just try a little piece. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It's actually pretty good, nice and soft. Sometimes if they sit for a while, they get stale in the pot, the packet. Those are nice, soft, and chewy. Now I'm going to try a marshmallow tree. And if I can get these open, they're a little bit tricky. Okay. There's marshmallow trees. All three of them. Pull one off. And let's get a look on the detail. They actually did a pretty good job on the detail of these. They're actually pretty cool. And Christmas trees have no feelings, so they don't care if you break them apart. And again, this is just green food coloring. Nothing new. So, just like eating a marshmallow. Um, now I'm going to try these. These ones because there's only three of them and it's pretty easy to get to. So these are the gingerbread flavored peeps. This one's really sealed up. Good. There we go. Finally. That one was difficult. There's a little gingerbread. Hmm, I can actually smell the gingerbread flavor. And I broke off a little guy. <laughs> eh, this one's not as good of painting job on it, but it's actually pretty cool. It's a little guy with his little buttons and his little hands or whatever. Face didn't do too good a job, but Mm, it really smells good. It's like gingerbread. So, uh, no, not the gumdrop buttons. <laughs> okay, poor guy, I killed him. Mm. Ooh. Wow. Mm. That's really good. That gingerbread in there is really good on that. Mm, I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go back and get some more peep. Peep that out. Check it out. So, <laughs> now, moving on to, this is the chocolate mousse reindeer. And he's a cute little guy. And boy, I can really smell this chocolate from here once I open the bag. Mm, yeah, ooh. So here's a cute little guy with a nose and little ears. Rudolph, I guess. I don't know, but sorry, fella. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pull the ears off so you might, you can't hear it. Mmm. Ooh, that's a nice chocolatey flavor. Ooh. That one's good. I like that. Between the marshmallow and the gingerbread, those are two pretty good flavors. So, not bad, not bad at all. They're getting pretty good on their flavors when they have them. I was kind of disappointed at the Halloween time 
when all they had was just the shapes, they didn't have any flavors. And it's mostly Easter that they have all the unique, weird flavors that are out there. But Christmas time, I guess they still kind of go for it. And now I'm trying to open this Peeps on a Stick. <laughs> and it says vanilla cream flavored marshmallows. So there's a poor little marshmallow, guys. They're all skewered. <laughs> and they look like they got kind of squashed up. But I'm going to go ahead and take this last guy off. I guess this is kind of like... They've got that out there that I always wanted to try mochi. This is, But this is marshmallow. And it's just a little green guy. Chick, he looks kind of deformed. <laughs> when they put him on the stick, he... It's kind of deformed into the other ones. I don't know. <laughs> but here we go. I'm going to give this a try. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm tasting a little bit of vanilla, but it mostly tastes just like the sugar ones. But I can, I can taste the vanilla on that. So... Hmm. Not too bad. Vanilla on that's not bad. It's a little bit more tasty than the regular just plain marshmallow peeps. And to round out our people Palooza tour. Guess I'm going to save the best one for last probably because this one, if you look here, they're in a little tray and this one has the little chick that's the peppermint and also has the cho dark chocolate on the bottom and I can smell the peppermint and also the chocolate so here we go i'm going to give this a try uh, i guess i'm going to just have to try both of them at the same time and see how it tastes so here we go mm. that's interesting the little speckles on the thing um, on the marshmallow Good peppermint flavor and that dark chocolate's really well. It's really good. Hmm. Yeah. Not bad. I'm getting a little bit of crunch from the chocolate shell in the bottom, kind of. And little bits of candy in the, um, inside the peep that's the peppermint little pieces in there, I guess. That's not bad. Hmm. So, now I'm going to have to give you a ranking <laughs> on all the peeps from the Peep of Palooza. Hmm. Alright. Well, I think I can kind of narrow it down. I'll rank these two together because they're the same kind. So for the regular trees and marshmallow men peeps, those will get a six out of 11. They're marshmallows. <laughs> they're peeps. They just have fun shapes. No different flavor to them. So, <laughs> that's some rating on that one. And for the little gingerbread guys that uh, were in there, the little gingerbread, gingerbread peeps, I will give those an eight out of 11. They were pretty good. 
The gingerbread was good flavor. For the chocolate mousse, that one I'll give a nine out of 11. It's good chocolate flavor. <laughs> the, the little guys were cute, little reindeer. That was pretty good. For the peep on a stick, vanilla cream, I'll give that one. Uh, I'll give that one. Uh, I give that one about a five. The it, it it was a little different. I couldn't really taste the vanilla in it. It was mostly like a regular peep, so it didn't really wow me. The the stick part was kind of cool, and it was kind of interesting to try it on the stick. So maybe if you roasted them over the stove, melted them a little bit, got them nice and ooey and gooey, they'd be pretty good. But again. They are nothing special on that one. And I guess for the last one, the peppermint, peppermint and dark chocolate peeps, I'll give those a 10 out of 11. Just because the peppermint was good, the dark chocolate on the bottom was good, and it was really pretty it was really pretty good for a marshmallow with a little bit of chocolate. And, you know, I'm all about the sweets, so thank you for checking this one out. And thank you for tuning in while I had my Peepa Palooza. And again, I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to Mr. Ian K over at Peep This Out. And I'll leave a link to his channel down below. And he's the one that kind of inspired me to do some of these food reviews that uh, I've been doing and uh, he's all got he's got quite a bit of content over on his channel when he does what he does and he does and he does his live streams and he does a lot of different food reviews out there and se seems like sometimes on his uh, live streams I seem to think like him I guess we're uh, the same <laughs> same mindset and you know I kind of peep things out before beforehand so uh, go ahead and give his channel a check out and see uh, all the stuff that he's got going on over there and I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in to people palooza so if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell that way you will not miss any future episodes and including the people palooza or anything else that i may come out with and until next time, from Drew's Food Reviews, I will talk to you later. Cut. Take two. And... Oh boy. Locked in there. Man, this one is tough. Oh, wow. Huh. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And today, got an action-packed episode of Too Sweet. <laughs> oh, there you go. Huh. Tazzy. You want to come back? Here's Tazzy. <laughs> He's going to join us maybe for a second. He doesn't like to be on camera. Say hi to the people, Tazzy. No. Oh, come on. See, Tazzy, there you go. Hold on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, come back here. Tessie, come here. Oh, there's Tazzy. So here's Tazzy. He's gonna stay for a second. Come on, say hi to the people, Tessie. Oh, you're just so big and heavy. Oh, he's not gonna cooperate. Huh. <sighs>